I'm Brenda Burnett. I'm Diego Lopez. Hello, my name is Max Contreras. I'm Dutch Turner. I'm Claire Hawkins. When did you have this whole idea? Like, when did it come into play? To start the band? Mm -hmm. Um, probably in Claire Hawkins' basement when we were like 13 or 14. So about two years ago. So how did you come up with the name Cliché? Um, Claire and I were uh, thinking about names and I said one. And she said, that's cliche. And then we were like, cliche is a cool name. So cliche was our band name. Just the idea of cliche, um, someone threw it out in our little group chat that we had. And I was like, dang, that's cute. So where do you hope to go with this? I'm hoping to have a couple of hits, maybe a world tour, if that's possible. Um, I hope for a couple hits, maybe something on the top 100 billboard. What are you doing to publicize the band? Um, I'm very vocal about our band <laughs> whenever I can be. And so I, um, I'm always telling people about our band. Oh yeah, and we have an Instagram now called at cliche band underscore. And so you guys should go follow that. Yeah, the Wimmy Diddle, I kind of, thought of and tried to set up, and yeah. Okay. What's your favorite song on your set list? I like This Charming Man because it makes me feel edgy. One way or another. Why? Because we're, it's probably our best song and it's really fun to play with everyone. Definitely Psycho Killer by Talking Heads. Okay, why? It's, it's a simple drum rhythm and it's just fun to play and I also like singing it. My favorite song would definitely have to be One Way or Another. We played that um, in all three of our sets and it was the most fun to play for me. So. This charming man, for sure. Yeah. Do you see this as like a high school project or something that you want to work on afterwards? After? I think it'd be cool to work on it after high school. I mean, I think if we really work at it, we can put a couple tunes on SoundCloud. You know, that's where people seem to be blowing up the most nowadays. So I think we'll get a few hits out of that. Well, I hope it keeps going afterwards, but it'll be difficult to find time to do it. Definitely I see it as like, um, as a thing to better ourselves as musicians. I'm not sure if we want to go after high school. I mean, we definitely have that in the um, in, in the back of our minds right now, but how we're going as a band, you know, there's always the future, and so we never really know what's going to happen. So how does your creative process for writing songs work? Well, I just look at the lyrics Brenna has sent me. She's an amazing poet, great lyrics. I just put like a little tune that I hear in my head, play it on the guitar see what she thinks of. Diego and I are working on a couple, but they're far from finished. As Diego said, him and Brenna have been working on some songs. I've brought some rhythms to Diego before, but he didn't like any of them. Who are some of the people that have inspired or influenced you? Well, Lee from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, for one. And I really like the bassist for YYZ, Getty Lee, he's a really good bassist. Me personally, Josh Dunn, the drummer for 21 Pilots, uh, Tommy Lee from uh, Motley Crue, just several other drummers. Um, Little Wayne has been one of the biggest. Also, Neutral Milk Hotel and Mac DeMarco. Probably Snail Mail, Lindsay Jordan. I saw her in concert a while ago and that kind of wanted me to put this into motion. Do you feel like the dynamic you guys all have helps? Yeah, we're a fun little fun little squad of 
we're humans, so that's fun. Mm, I feel like we're really good friends, so our music just sounds a lot better. It's definitely a good dynamic because we're all we're all close, we all know each other, and we're just we just have fun together, so it's good. Did you get nervous when you performed it with me? And if you did, how did you deal with it? I did. I think uh, as the day progressed, I got more comfortable with the crowd and with everyone around, and they seemed to be enjoying it, so that made my confidence go up. Um, I got real nervous during our first set because there was a lot of people, and after our first song, we straight up, like, a half of the crowd just left. And so I was like, oh, and, but after that, it was just, it was just fun. It was just, it really felt like us just messing around, but like in a, in a good way. What's been your favorite part of this whole experience? I really like playing music with other musicians that are really good too. It just, it's really fun. Just hanging out and playing good music. I kind of like them. <laughs> we doing more music. Like already in school, I do, I'm involved in a lot of um, our musical programs, but outside of school, I don't really focus too much on that. And I've really been trying to um, do better with that. So this band has really been helping me with that. Just hanging out with everyone in the band, making music. Uh, definitely just playing songs together, having fun at gigs. I'm Brenna Burnett and I'm part of Cliché. I'm Claire Hawkins and I play bass for Cliché. I'm Diego Lopez and I'm the lead guitarist of Cliché. I'm Dutch Turner and I'm the drummer for Cliché. My name is Max Contreras and I'm a member of Cliché. <laughs>